Hey guys, Buffer Game Bad today bringing you a video, and today we're doing DMZ Firefights, the autonomy of firefights. Gonna run through some really good gameplay here with the Delta SR25 EMC or the Enhanced Military Carbine. This thing's a squad killer, and I'll show you why. So let's go ahead, jump into this, and then I'm gonna walk you through gameplay in a in a new format. So I want to get some feedback from you guys, what you think of it. Uh, I'll be refining it a little more, so it's not going to be perfect, but it, it allows me to get through the footage in a more live perspective. I can rewind, things like that. So uh, we'll adjust it going forward. Let me know what you think, or if you like the old format, uh, we can always go back to that. But this was definitely a lot easier to do, and I can rewind things easier. So backing out, here's the final design. This is my SR25 EMC. I will link the conversion video below. You'll see the thumbnail on screen now. I don't know how to link the thumbnails on your screen, unfortunately, because... Despite being a YouTuber for three and a half years, I still am kind of a noob. Uh, but I will put the link down below for that EMC conversion where we show off a couple different builds. This is is very similar to the one that we one of them that we showed off. So here, in this particular build with the EMC, let's go ahead and just run through this. You can see the attachments already, so I'm not going to strip it down. Uh, what we'll do here is the Echo Line GSX Suppressor. So I picked this one just because we're, you know, it's not really hurting our ergo or our mobility, which is key with this weapon because we're running it. It's obviously 7.62 by 51. It's heavy enough. We want to move as, as fast as we can because of how we're running this as a primary for mainly close quarters-ish engagements. So this is going to give us sound suppression, recoil smoothness, recoil control. Cons are damage range, but again, the engagement distances we're doing with this primarily doesn't matter, especially because it is a 7.62 by 51. It's going to hit like a truck no matter what. Aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, aiming stability are the cons. Not a big deal with those. We'll tune this for recoil smoothness, and then uh, we can leave this other one stability velocity in the middle because of how we're using this for medium to close quarters. Next up, the 16 Tor RP barrel. So the EMC... Uh, primarily comes in a 16-inch barrel for the SR25. So this is the 16-inch barrel. At base, I think it's more of a 18-inch barrel or perhaps a 20. Hard to tell. But the base barrel may be a 20 or an 18. Most likely, I think, based on the barrel length here, it's probably a 20. So the 16-inch is going to give us the 8 down sight speed and hip recoil control. The cons, damage at range, again, not going to impact us really with how we're using this at all. Hip fire accuracy bullet velocity and that, that damage at range you'll see in the gameplay has zero impact in how we're using this so i don't want to say it's not going to really impact us it doesn't impact us whatsoever so 16 inch barrel there we'll go ahead and select that we'll skip out on the laser here now for the optic that's first off for the barrel we're going to tune it to recoil steadiness and then we can leave this aim down sight speed damage range uh one in the middle right there for the optic this is personal preference i love this trijicon optic the sc recharge dx this is a one point Five times the magnification, I believe. So precision sight picture and down sight speed is the con. Again, the ADS speed is negligible, does not affect us at all. So we'll go ahead and select that and we'll tune that uh, eye distance or position all the way to far. And we'll leave the other slider in the middle. Now we'll skip the stock. We'll stay with that uh, salt mod stock. Skip the guard. Skip the rear grip. And we're going to run with the 30 round magazine. I like the 30 round magazine just because the base 20 is fine, but 30 round, I think for the engagements that we're doing here, it's you'll see why it's good to just have the extra ammunition. Those extra 10 shots um, probably save my butt a few times here, just in case you don't have that time to reload. Um, when you're engaging multiple targets, like you'll see me doing here, it definitely comes in handy. So it's going to slow down your ergo a little bit, but. Again, you can see by the bar, the, uh, bar charts there, no real impact. There's really no need to ever use a 50-round drum on this weapon, so just don't do it. 30-round <laughs> is, is more than enough there, uh, that big, fat AR-10 magazine. So next up, we'll run the Hex 40 grip. I really love this grip. Now that it's been available, I pretty much use it on almost everything. Hip fire accuracy, again, if we do get into close, close quarters where I need to hip fire, it definitely comes in handy. Uh, recoil steadiness, aim down, or excuse me, aim walking steadiness, hip recoil control are the pros. Cons, aim walking speed and aim down sight speed. We'll go ahead and tune this uh, all the way over to aim down sight speed and up to hip recoil control because we don't really need anything with the uh, hip walking speed. So that's the final design. Obviously, we uh, need to run it in the solid clay it looks good black or other pl other plain ones but these delta uh sr25 emcs primarily came in uh this this uh flat earth i think it is in real life so the clay uh one here really clean weapon 
let's go ahead now. We'll jump into the gameplay again. Like I said, this is going to be a different style, so let me know what you think of this. We're going to kind of shoot it right off the computer screen here as I walk through. So this is the SR25 EMC. Again, the weapon conversion video for this build where I show multiple different builds and multiplayer gameplay is down below. So let's go ahead now, and we'll jump into the gameplay. Okay, so here we are jumping into the gameplay, and... We're trying something new here, obviously, so I'm kind of just recording my computer screen for the first time, and we're going to walk through it this way. That way, I can easily rewind instead of kind of cutting things up and uh, going about it that way. So, this is going to be our first... This, this These engagements on this match are pretty crazy. We're obviously on uh, Ashka Island or Ashika Island, however you choose to pronounce it. So, we popped up this tower here. We just did the safe, and you can see the, the beautiful SR-25, Delta SR-25 EMC. So, here, right here... I'm going to notice one ping on the UAV tower that we picked up here. So he's pushing right towards us right now. So they, they're either really bad players or they know we're here because they see the tower and they're pushing at us. Or they are just completely oblivious. One of the two. So at this point, Justin's going to fall down there. Uh, and now I'm just trying to not... He's going to fall down here in a second down the cliff. And then he's going to pull a pretty nasty flank. But I pop this UAV because the tower's out. Here we see there's two of them now pushing at us. And so I'm going to keep this rock between myself and them so they can't see me. Justin falls down on the beach. He's going to move up, though. But here we go. For whatever reason, I don't know if this guy just didn't know where I was because I concealed myself on the rock so well. Um, downed him pretty quickly. And then we're going to communicate that the guy is pushing to the bathroom there, the other guy. So I'm going to come finish this dude. And Justin is going to take care of the other guy that he downs and kills there. So that's a, that's a duo that we killed. Um, one had a three play, the other did not. So let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit to the next engagement. We kind of move around here. And uh, now we picked up an HVT uh, contract. So we're pushing into the HVT here. And this is going to be interesting. You can hear the ATV. Right now, we hear an ATV. We're like right on top of the H the uh, HVT somewhere here, and you can see on the minimap there. That's the H the uh, the um, the the four wheeler there. The quad is where that guy came from. So he's very close to us, and we're just gonna kind of sit here for a second because we're not really sure at this point how many enemies there are. It could be one. It could be two. It could be a full team of three, or it could be a combined team of of six to seven. So we don't really know. So we're just going to kind of sit tight because the HVT is there. There's still some uh, AI around. So we're going to just kind of let them point him out to us or them out to us. Uh, Justin needs that three plate. So I'm going to obviously ping that for him. And now you can see there the HVT has been eliminated. So they killed, they killed the HVT. And again, we don't know how many players there are. So we're Justin and I are communicating. He's going to see this guy and push in. So kind of i'm gonna just kind of go quiet now so you guys can hear comms a little bit no oh there he is wait never mind never mind he's in there i hear him i hear him running so you can hear the call outs i hear the guy inside so i'm gonna push this a little bit here put a flat stun in there nothing or a flash and right there the guy only had one play, unfortunately, so easily. He went down super quickly. <laughs> no <clears throat> no issues bringing him down, and he ended up being a solo. So pretty easy engagement there. Go forward a little bit more. Now we're hearing fire uh, towards the castle. So this is, a, this is a pretty crazy engagement. So we obviously, uh, there's still Shadow Company around, and we're hearing the Wilson fire off, and we're hearing a lot of enemy fire closer to the castle here, which is right really on the other side of that wall where that's happening so i'm gonna start moving we're basically saying let's get out of here we're gonna start moving around here um until they catch my eye so again gonna kind of let this play out and then i'll probably rewind it and we'll walk through it quick they're right there there they are i see two of them yep me too come on right, ready. oh here's another one one dead there's two more. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Use the cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use it, use it. Good to go. Flash Alright, cover. <laughs> Downed him. Nice. There's one more. He's down there. Enemy down! Got him. Fuck! 
One more, I think. I need medical. Right there. You can see there. I was like one shot. Justin pushed in yeah. and got the guy. Now, there is one more, which we'll get to in a second. But let me rewind this and just kind of wa walk through this uh, with the commentary. So, obviously, <clears throat> here we are from the beginning where I see... I spot these guys here because I hear the fire, so I know they're they're right there. And there's one, the first one I spot. I ping him for Justin. I see two at this point. I'm gonna reposition. Justin's on the left side. I'm gonna get on the right. Just take a peek. I spot a third, so we know at least there's three right here. This guy sees Justin engages. I'm gonna bring him down. Justin is down, so I'm gonna reposition in case some of them push out. Reposition, get on some hard cover, uh, and make myself a small target by going prone. I stunned or I flashed that guy. Down that dude in like two shots. And then I got a really nice grenade toss there and cleaned him up. And now another one. Down this dude. I pushed right in. It was a beautiful play. Now there's a fourth. So there's a fourth behind me. I I have, I have shouldn't have pushed that right away because I didn't have any life left or plates. So Justin was able to push in and get him super easy. So a great play there. That was a, that was a four-man right there. There is a fifth. So their bodies are not going to disappear. But that's great teamwork. You can see how... Basically, we allowed ourselves to one person be the target while the other person uh, takes advantage of them being distracted with that target. So Justin was the target. I took advantage, and then I was the target. Justin took advantage. So great teamwork there. Um, now, again, there's a fifth. That's the only reason they're pleading for help right now is because there's still someone on their team alive. Otherwise, they, they wouldn't be able to do that. So go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Um, we popped in advance, and here we go. I'm, I'm looting a little bit. Make sure we didn't miss it here. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to loot a little bit. And we're still not sure where this guy is at this point. So, see, Shadow Company's coming in because we made a bunch of noise. So these guys are coming in with the helicopters. And at this point, we still know there's one person left because their bodies are still there. And they were still asking for help. So they definitely have uh, at least one more guy somewhere. And Justin right now points out that he hears fire coming from, you know, that general direction. So um, the AI that was deployed or is around the area is engaging some somebody. So I'm going to start moving down here slowly. I have no idea. You know, I don't even hear the fire, but I'm going to move down and plate. Oh, and then right there, I heard something. And there he is. So three plates. You can see how quickly that just chewed through the three plates. I heard him walking, which is why you can hear me go like, ooh, and, and turn quick. So right here, coming in. I don't I have no idea he's there. I'm going to plate. Uh, he must have repositioned from where Justin heard him. I hear him here, and then you can see he's got full three plates and just one, two, three, three shots, four shots. He's down, especially a you know, quick trigger finger there. Uh, super quick to kill. So that was the fifth one. So we just killed a five-man. Um amazing teamwork so that was that was a really solid engagement this one's pretty crazy so let me go ahead and kind of get forward into this we did um <clears throat> we did some contracts here we did a raid weapon stash and fast forward we end up getting uh we do the raid weapon stash obviously make a bunch of noise and we're getting sniped heavily from this team up on high rise now this is a sniper that i just happened to pick up off the ground so it's obviously not ideal it only has one attachment and they're gonna down us a couple times we end up needing to retreat out of here and and you know we we broke them a bunch so they definitely are low on plates but they also did some damage on us um so we're gonna continue to move back we're trying to find out hey where can we get plates now an ltv just rolled through here a second ago so right here here's the ltv they went over they called in the helicopter they went over there and now they're backing up and at this point, we're on the assumption this is probably a full team, so I'm going to deploy the bomb drone. Where the fuck are they? Okay. Try to look for this guy. Here's just a solo we see. Justin takes him out and cleans him up. One. And then at that point, I'm just going to obviously use the bomb drone to see if there's uh, more players, which there wasn't. So it was a solo. Right over the hill there. Behind us. It was a solo, maybe. This is a different team now, so... So this is going to be a different team. So here you see the tail end of this bomb drum. I spot him. I just say, okay, that doesn't look like an AI up there. And obviously there he is. So here comes a ghost skin. Get a hit. Again, just a ground loot sniper. So it, it's, I'm not, you know, this isn't my custom build. I'm not super used to it. Justin gets the down there. Which for some reason it's not, it doesn't show that he got the down. 
on my screen. I don't know why. Same with the other game. I don't know if they if it's a current bug or whatnot. Uh, switching to my pistol. There he goes. He got the kill. He gets the kill. And uh, so that's another <laughs> another player there. Fast forward a little bit. So Justin kills this guy. I'm going to look up. Here comes the other dude who was on high rise. So that ghost skin must have been one of the guys from high rise. So now I spot this guy coming in for his buddy. So I'm assuming this is probably a duo or maybe there's more. Not sure. Um, but again, he parachutes in. Not sure where he landed. And he obviously probably saw me because I was running at him, especially if he was in third person view, kind of looking around. So Justin's in good position. He's on hard cover. I'm not sure if he's looping around from the road or or what. So I'm just going to basically... Justin throws that grenade uh, to see if he's over that way. No hits. I'm just kind of sitting still, listening. And then here you'll see, checking this side of the hill, because if he's smart, he's going to loop back up on a flank on me here. Going to switch back to the Glock 17 just so I have a good secondary if I need to move quick. Kind of cr crossing this hill. And there he is. I spot him right there. He, he definitely saw me. Going to throw a stun. He's trying to glass me for whatever reason, thinking he's a phase sniper. Um, and I two-shot at him pretty easily. So, quick clean up there. <laughs> really easy engagement. But again, you can just see the EMC just crushes people so quickly. So, that was a really good engagement. Now, fast forward a little bit. Justin spots an another guy. We spot a gas skin here. And this gets this is where it gets crazy. I don't know if uh, these just happen to be a bunch of different teams that we're finding or or what but justin sees him over here he's gonna drop that mortar i have yet to see this guy um justin's not quite sure where he is just over in that direction because we saw the bot shooting at him so um i'm gonna kind of reposition while justin justin's pushing more in so again this is this is good firefight teamwork we're not sure how many players there are i'm gonna slightly hang back with the sniper rifle try and get overview see what i can see where he is give some call outs and that way we can work together in case he gets downed. I can I can do my thing and they'll think it's just one or not know where I am instead of us both being together. So right now, whoever this other player is should be in the assumption if they they see Justin at this point that it's just one. So he should he probably doesn't see me. You can see some of the tracer fire over uh, by those buildings. So we're not you know the AI I can see shooting at people. Justin thinks he's right there at that little uh, little shack is what he's telling me here at this point pretty much. So again, I'm looking, don't see anything. The bots are shooting. Not sure where where he is. Justin's going to push up. Stun that little hot. And then he happens to be laying right there. So crazy. I just missed the shot. He's running, get a good hit. And then I blew the snipes again. Not not my sniper, but the AI downed him there. So he got down by the AI um which was pretty clutch so here again i'm gonna be a little bit cautious just because a you have a crap ton of ai here so it prevented me from pushing up right away i need to deal with this ai I'm gonna give this dude an opportunity obviously to get rezzed or self-revive uh whichever but this ai is just kind of all over me right now hitting me you can see the, the flinch that's going on here um so again need to clear out the ai before i move forward and let's see we can just fast forward slightly through that as I engage the AI, I'm going to move up. And again, going to take a little peek here. There, I see his muzzle in that window just looking at Justin's body. Boom, headshot, easy. Come in here, and I'm going to res Justin. And at this point, I res Justin. He sees him and calls out that he's still up. And we're looking. We end up not finding him here. So the AI is just destroying me. So we end up not finding him. He, he backed out of there. We're going to push through. Justin's going to call this, but the radiation is right there. So I'm pretty confident that this this extract is not coming. I'm just going to clear this building in case he's not in there. Fast forward, we're like swimming away. And Justin calls out that this chopper... Justin calls out that this chopper is is actually here. So quick, quick note, because I think we, we missed it, but there were some RPGs being fired at us. So we weren't sure if that was AI firing RPGs. Or if it was this dude. He's definitely still around somewhere. So now this helicopter's coming in. Justin's pushing right for it. And again, this is kind of like using one person as bait almost. Um, 
I'm gonna take a little approach here down by the water. So I have I have again hard cover the land between me bushes. I'm 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 hidden. Oh, he's here, he's here. He gets Justin. Okay, so there he is. I spot him. He's on the windshield. He probably shouldn't know where I am right now. I f would have thought I can shoot through that, but I can't. And got him again. He didn't have three plates, so it took like two shots. This is where it gets uh, pretty crazy. So I clean him up. Tr Justin's on the bird. I tried to get on it, and I couldn't. He, Justin fell off, and I couldn't get on. So I think I accidentally knocked him off. It would have been perfect. I could have just gotten on the bird and rezzed him. Um, but that didn't happen. So I'm going to get him up. This is about to get nuts. So this is where things get, get crazy. I'm going to let I'll let this play. I'm going to his, his team's over there in the building sniping us. Is he he just finish you? Right there. Right there. Right there. Boom. Easy peasy. I think that might be the same team from earlier, that ghost skin and the other guy that I got. So they, the gas skin, me, I don't know. How, I don't know what happened. It could just be different teams, but that was pretty wild. So let's go ahead and just kind of replay that. Obviously, I kill this guy. Unfortunately, I'm not able to shoot through the glass here, which is really weird because I think if you're on the front of the bird, you can shoot into the helicopter, but I can't shoot through the other side. Really weird. Unless they fixed it. Easy down, obviously. Um, now, I'm going to yell here, but I can't really do anything about it when Justin falls. So, um, Justin falls, heartbreaker. I'm going to res him. Now that I'm watching this back, I, I see this infantry guy pushing right at us. So, really terrible play by them because they could have shot me right here. I don't know what their plan was, um, but I, I hear the sniper. So, that's a player that just hit me. And there you saw briefly that guy pushing at pushing at Justin, downs him, and then he's going to execute him here. He just, so he just executed him, and I don't I don't, I don't, don't know what he was doing just standing there. Easy two-shot kill. This guy hit me three times, broke my plates, but the uh, SR-25, Delta SR-25 EMC prevails. So we get really good... Uh, really good engagements there now i'm just gonna i'm gonna mute this because what i'm gonna show you next i end up kind of like get, swearing a little bit so we got up we got in a truck we had a durable gas mask we got out of there we move up here uh he gives me plates i change out gas masks i had durables and a couple other ones so we move up here we're gonna get in this jet ski the final extract is over at uh at fortress so this is where like we get in the jet ski we're gonna we're going to make this we roll up here after we just went through those crazy engagements, we're moving up here, and you look at all of the the tier two and there's tier three AI around. So we're just like we have to run through these guys, and they changed it this season in season two. So the X final extract helicopter is up top here. This is a problem because if you're the first team there, there's no way anybody else is getting on that helicopter because it's so easy to hold down. So that unfortunately happens to be the case here. He has claymores there, downs me instantly. The fall damage kills me, and then he turns over and shoots Justin. So, pretty ridiculous. Um, that was upsetting. Talk about you know all the engagements we had there. We definitely deserved to, especially the that mad dash that we had to get out was was just crazy. So we definitely deserved to make it out of that raid. Um, just ridiculous engagements here. You can see, especially the game before, we're taking out that five man. Really good teamwork, especially when we run as duos like this. We just destroy teams. Um, this is really how we do a lot of our engagements is, is we'll either push together or kind of one will hang back and, and do kind of like a fish hook flank while the other goes right in. Um, that's really how you want to do things. Stick and move. Always keep moving. Make sure they don't know where you are. Um, and then, obviously, the SR-25 EMC uh, firepower definitely helps. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of this format. Again, this is the first time we're trying it, so... I like this format because I can rewind and kind of go through things with you. We'll refine this as we go forward, but let me know what you think of this format, what kind of uh, things you want me to see do with these types of videos. Uh, but I do like going through them live like this. I think it, it allows me to get much more in-depth and kind of rewind things as we go through things. I like getting into the autonomy of these types of uh, firefights like that. So 
Let me know what you think. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the SR25 EMC Squad Killer in DMZ. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out. Oh,